this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this lightning effect in DaVinci Resolve. So I have this footage over here in my timeline and if we play this, what we're going to do, we're going to add a lightning in the background over here. So just click on this footage and right click and go over to open in fusion and this will take us to the fusion page now let's drag a background and connect it with the median one and now i'm going to change the color to white and let's add this polygon connected with the background so here i'm just going to add a line like this so this is a line because this is from where we want the lightning to start and end. So that's why I'm drawing, drawing it like this. So once you have this line, go ahead and set the border width to 0 0.005. And also you can change this border style to this one. And you will get this straight line. Okay, so now that we have this done let's go ahead and make sure that our background is selected then click control space and search for displace right so we have our displaced over here and let's go ahead to this xy change the y offset to minus 0 0.5 and the y refraction to 1 and now drag this fast noise and connect it to this place and you will see that we're getting this different kind of shape the line is now bending a little bit so let's go over to the fast noise and in the detail you can set this to 10 the contrast set this to 1.4 now change the scale to 2.5 and change the seed rate to 0.1 so right now, if we play this, you will see that we are getting this animation. It looks like a lightning, but we still need some work. So let's move this a little bit up. Make sure that your displace is selected and then search for flow. So control space and then search for flow. So once you have this, and this will depend on the kind of footage that you have. So I'm going to set this according to the footage so that this matches the footage in the background. So right now I'm going to set the glow size to 24 and the glow to 0 0.9. So here you will see that this is the kind of lightning effect that we're getting. But this will depend on your case. So if you have a different kind of a background, just make sure that this matches the background. Also go back to the polygon and change the soft edge. And this will also give you another option so that you can make sure that your lightning is matching the background as well. Right now you can see I have a kind of a dull footage. So this kind of a soft edge is giving that effect that is actually matching the footage. So this is up to you. You want to do this go ahead make sure that this is this is working for you this works for your background that you have but if you don't want to do this just keep this at zero or if you want this you can also increase this and this will depend on your case so i'm just setting this to 0 0.0079 all right so where do we want our lightning to actually start and end so let's go over to 30 frames I'm going over to 30 frames in this footage and over here I'm going to set the in the polygon I'm going to set the length first of all let me create a keyframe at length and then go over to let's say three frames ahead I'm going to go three frames ahead and I'm going to set another keyframe and in the first one the 30th keyframe let's set the length to zero so if we play this this is how the lightning will appear and then let's go over to 30. Let's go over to 40 frames. And in the polygon, I'm going to set the level 
over here. I'm going to set a keyframe at the level. And then at 45, I'm going to set this to zero. So if you play this, this is how it will look. So this depends on the kind of duration that you want this to appear. So I don't want this to look unnatural. So that's why this is where this works for me. Okay, so now you will see that we are getting this lightning over here, which is appearing in the ground as well, but we don't want that. In order to work around this, let's go ahead and create, add this mask over here and connect it with the merge. And you will see that we are hiding our lightning now. Let's just increase the width and the height and then slightly move this up like this. So here you will see that now it's working much better. So if we play this now, here you will see we're getting that lightning effect. Okay, so now that we have this lightning effect done, you will see that we're just getting this kind of a lightning effect, but when in real setting, when we see a lightning, we also see that there is some change in the brightness of the surroundings as well. So in order to do that, let's go over to this median and let's add in this color corrector. So what I'm going to do is, go, I'm going to go over to 30 frames because this is from where our lightning will appear. So I'm going to create a keyframe at contrast, gain, and brightness. And I'm going to go over to the third frame, to three frames ahead of this, where our lightning is falling. And let's go ahead and change the contrast to 0 0.75. And I'm going to change the gain to 1.5. And I'm going to set the brightness at 0 0.06. Okay, and now let's go back to 40. Now I'm going to go over to 40 and I'm going to set these back to their original values. So brightness at 0, gain at 1, and contrast at 1 as well. So if we play this now, you'll see that now we are getting that lightning effect that is actually working and of course you will see that our lightning is still here while the while this other brightness and all of this color grading this disappears but so in order to fix this just go ahead to spline select your color correctors keyframes and let's select the end ones go over to 45 and then move them So let's see this. All right, this looks much better now. I'm just going to slightly move this back. Like this. Now let's see. So this looks wonderful. And now what we, there's one thing that I want to show you is that right here when we see the lightning, we see that the color grading happens to all the footage so all over the footage the color grading is affecting but just to make it more realistic i'm going to mask this so that this area this tree area over here the area behind the tree this does not get affected by the lightning because this is in the background and this tree is in the front and all of these can get affected but it won't be very realistic if the light the lightning is also affecting something in the background over here so I'm just going to drag in this rectangle. I'm going to mask it with the color corrector. And let's increase the width and the height. And I'm just slightly going to move this out over here. So here you can see this is where it will appear. But right now you will see this looks very unrealistic. So let's select our rectangle and then change the soft edge. 
you can just set this somewhere around 1.2 and you will see that now it's getting now it looks much better if we just hide this you will see that this area is getting affected but if we now use the mask you will see that now this looks much more realistic so if we play this So here you can see, this is how you can create the lightning effect for your scenes. And if we go back to the timeline, this will also appear in the timeline as well. So if we play this, here you can see. So this is how you can add lightning in DaVinci Resolve to your footages. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one.